Hello, hello, hello lovelies. Welcome, Welcome again to, to my patio. Oh my god. Like, what is happening? So much has gotten down, so I'm gonna break it down for you. right now it is March 15th um, but backtracking to January there was a period uh, at the end of the school year where the term was actually cut short by a week and we said oh okay there was nothing that we could do about it it was government controlled shutdown so went on and had our Chinese New Year which was also restricted we really couldn't go anywhere do much because like in China you can't go out of the country you're limited to what you can and cannot do the week it came to then return to the school and that again was pushed back a week all teachers still went in we kind of got ready we had high hopes that schools would uh, be back on track when that following Monday would roll around Friday the last day of us prepping for school the government came down with another sanction that schools are postponed indefinitely we don't know what that means like indefinitely no one knows what that means when that is like that bomb is dropped um, but at that point we were then told to just wait it out stay home like it was the fear of the unknown there was probably no hope that school was going to recommence like in school with the kids so we had to start online classes again it's just so bizarre and so redundant because we did this in 2020 that's when I returned to China. That's what I was anticipating having to do and I never thought that I would have to go through that again. Right about the time that that was commencing, Shenzhen took a turn. So the big reason about why the government is saying schools are closing, cannot reopen, is because of COVID. Being here over the course of the last two years, like COVID is never, like disintegrated, it's never truly gone away. With health codes everywhere we go, we still cannot leave China. It's all still very relevant in everyone's life here. Being from the States, you hear about things at home like, oh wow, it was extremely terrible in 2020 and 2021, but now it's just almost evaporated. It's kind of like it never happened. And you know what, all the power to anyone at home who can like let it all go and the the government at home that's not like what my whole spiel right here is about but it has been every single day for the last two years still such a phenomenon here um but recently the purpose get out of here bug yeah. the reason why it has become such um a trying time here is because as of recently the situation in Hong Kong had grew a lot worse and now people from Hong Kong are really trying to get out they are trying to leave that situation and then come back or come to China and the way that that is happening is that people are swimming people are swimming from Hong Kong to Shenzhen, coming to the bay, coming into Shenzhen, and just like immersing themselves into life here. There has been very minute blips over the course of the last two years that COVID had like brought back in, but because of the situation in Hong Kong, it is causing manic. People are then moving into communities and testing positive for COVID. People are even coming from Hong Kong doing the, the quarantine, the two, three week quarantine that needs to be done and still testing positive. It caused a huge scare in Shenzhen. Apartment buildings, businesses, restaurants. We went into lockdown part two. From what I'm experiencing, from what I've heard other people experience that this is scarier. The lockdown has become so much more intense they are fearing other people. They are fearing people that they know. They're fearing their family members. There's situations where uh, nannies have been, and IEs have been forced to leave homes from testing positive. They're just like booted out. But if you are locked down here, there are chains on the doors. 
I've seen photos of people have barbed wire to keep them in their communities. I'm looking out right now at the road and there are red barricades that are just like enclosing communities and apartments in. We had been under lockdown for 12 days and at first it was a very like mind bending time because I'm lucky to say that I have things to keep me company here but day four you start to wonder how long can this really go on. There was a point where they didn't give us an extended time. The first few days maybe like five or six days we didn't have uh, an, an end game. At that point, the rest of the city, other apartment buildings, entire uh, neighborhoods of like restaurants, businesses, everything closed. Like, after being in lockdown for 12 days, the day that the lockdown was lifted, it really was a celebration here in Shenzhen. I like saw videos the next morning of like fireworks and people like taking a walk. Like it was, it was something that they were not able to do but they took such fucking joy in which was lovely we had five days out out in the world and on day five it happened again you're locked in and you're told like you can't leave and then the next morning you'll wake up and like oh but actually if you have 24 hours then you can go and so like one day will happen and you think it's all beautiful and you're like wow i'm so lucky to go for a walk and now you find out the next day that there are apartment buildings and complexes around you that are testing cases uh, positive, then it is another unexpected, unwarranted, no notice lockdown for seven days or however many until like the whole city is tested positive. And I will just say it has gotten very weird uncomfortable a little unnerved and i feel very odd speaking about my experience and my time here the fear that people still have towards anyone but a lot of it is for people that don't look like they are from china we are all here, we are all in the same boat, we all have like the same guidelines to follow. Not that those guidelines are always handled the same for every person. We are all here. We don't have a lot of options. There are times where people make the comments about if you are unhappy, if you don't like how some things are being handled, then you are free to leave. And those possibilities aren't true. People have lives, families, friends, careers, jobs here, and those possibilities just to like leave a situation just because it's difficult is not always a possibility. I would just really hope that whatever happens here in the next week, month, couple days, I'm not sure, that it just like becomes a lot more somber, accepting, peaceful. And it's really difficult to ask that and to say that because everyone is spiraling and not really knowing how to handle it. And I feel like people are releasing those nerves and that anxiousness and that tension out into the world without understanding that everyone is in the same predicament and, and really we want the same outcome for everyone we want all of this to, to end and and the fearful thing is is that no one knows how or when or if that will happen we are living in the time where it's been two years since this uh, virus has like entered literally the entire globe and all of our lives but I'm not the one to say that we need to learn to accept it because it, that's not my purpose and it's not my place, but there has to be a way where we cannot continue to go into lockdown and then be let out and then two days later be locked in your home and people are frantic and people are scared and people 
are making over the top assumptions and choices and frankly like harsh digs at people in their community and in their their world. Uh, two years ago I sat on my rooftop like three blocks away and I shared with the world that life was cake and it was really seamless and easy to return to China and uh, it wasn't as scary as everyone almost had led me to believe and right now I'm just kind of like a big question mark and I don't know what the future holds I'm just hoping for the best so please just keep everyone in like this entire world in your thoughts I know this is not the um, the big topic of conversation that everyone is uh, dealing with in the world, but everybody's dealing with something and I would hope that people here, people home, people everywhere can have a little compassion and a little um, empathy for everyone because we all need it. doesn't matter where you're from or what you're going through. So, uh, lovelies, I'm just gonna leave it at that because I'm going to start to cry. Um, but please take care and enjoy the time you have because it is not always gifted to you. So thank you. It's a little bit crazy at the moment. I get it. I understand. I'm over here. It took me a great deal of strength to come back into this and I didn't know what would entail for me. But um, just sending a lot of love and good spirits and vibes. And I just hope to see more of that from everybody because this too shall pass. It'll be okay. Um, I just want to send love again and things are good. Life is good. All is good. I love and I miss you all, but things are good here.